Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how we can draw rectangle using graphics in C. So you can see two header files, Conio and graphics.h have been included. Then three variable i, gd and gm are declared. Then init graph function is used to initialize graphics. Set color is for foreground color. Set bk color is for background color setting. Then rectangle function is used. So you can see this rectangle function in this function, first argument is indicating left coordinate, then second is for top, third is for right, and fourth one is for bottom. So 100, 100 is left top corner, and 200, 200 is right bottom corner. So using these four coordinates, a rectangle will be drawn on console. Then get ch is used to hold this uh, screen so that this rectangle can be displayed, because in this program, another rectangle will be displayed with the help of for loop. So first of all, I am going to demonstrate you a single rectangle. So I am uh, making these statements as comment. Now I am executing the code. You can see a rectangle is drawn on console uh, in green color and background is red. So this is simple example. Now if you want to uh, print multiple rectangles by using single rectangle function, so for that purpose, you have to use for loop. So uh, for loop is started from one and it is uh, having a condition i less than equals to 100 incremented by five. So here delay function is used. Again, rectangle function, initial two parameters, left and top are decremented and right and bottom are incremented. So from left and top, it will decrease and from right and bottom uh, coordinates will increase. So uh, Increasing rectangles will be displayed on a console and n number of quantity will be displayed. So now I am executing this code. So first of all, this program will display a single uh, rectangle. Now you can see multiple rectangles are displayed on console. So this is because of for loop and delay function. So friends, with the help of single uh, rectangle function, you can uh, print multiple rectangles but you have to put that rectangle function inside for loop. Now if you want to display only single display only single rectangle at a time, so you can use clear device function. So a clear device function will clean the previous output of the program and it will display a, uh, the current output. So uh, output will be uh, like uh, the lesser size rectangle will be uh, erased after display and uh, a larger size rectangle will be displayed. So you can uh, see the output to understand the concept. You can see a uh, rectangle is increasing uh, its size and clear device is erasing previous output so that new or larger rectangle will be shown to the user. So friends, with the help of these uh, concepts, you can uh, print uh, various kind of rectangles and you can use this uh, this concept in your project work so that uh, your project can be implemented with the help of rectangle. So if you are using uh, any kind of rectangle in your project, you can uh, use this video for your help. Uh, thank you for watching this video.